Hey folks, Logan here with Duncan's Boats, and today we're going to take a look at the Bayliner Element E18. Now for years, this has been a bread and butter boat for Bayliner. Uh, just a good size at a good price point, a good riding boat for what it is. First off, let's go ahead and take a look at our bow here. And what we're going to notice, we got a nice deep V, 18 degree dead rise, carries all the way to the back with two outside sponsons. Now, what that's going to do for you, it's still going to allow you to cut through the waves, but uh, when you have this boat loaded up or have a bunch of people sitting on one side or the other, those sponsons really act um, to keep you nice and buoyant and, and uh, level. In addition, uh, the hull design just allows you to get up on top of the water and go. No more of that stargazing or anything. Now, all these boats do come standard uh, with the trailer. We choose to do the galvanized trailer here for the salt water. But a uh, big key feature is here, we got the swing away tongue. Uh, this boat's a real popular boat. It will fit in a lot of garages. Uh, it's under seven feet tall and uh, about eight and a half feet wide with the fenders. Walking down and taking a look at the hull side, uh, we notice real big hull side walls. When we get inside, we'll see. It really feels like you're sitting down inside the boat as opposed to up on top. Uh, that's really important to the, those with family. Just feels like a real safe boat. Now walking back here at the back, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the power plant. This particular one, we got the Mercury 90 horsepower four stroke. And uh, most of our folks, this is uh, the, the engine we're gonna go with. You can upgrade this to the 115. Uh, between those two engines, about a two or so mile an hour different top end. Um, cruise at about the same speed though, right there in that uh, sweet spot, 20 to 23 miles an hour. And uh, again, just, just good power package. Taking a look here at the back, you're going to notice we got two swim platforms here on either side. Uh, right down there at the water line. In addition, does add a little bit of protection here for the engine in case, uh, in case you get close to something here in the back. A lot easier to replace this than it is to replace this engine. Now let's go ahead and step on inside. Taking a look inside, first thing you're going to notice, this is a big wide open boat. It's designed for uh, seating up to nine people and can comfortably seat nine people in this boat. Uh, here at the transom, you're going to see two rear facing loungers here on either side. This is a real big improvement there on a lot of their older boats. Uh, makes it nice when someone's skiing or tubing there at the back or you're just watching the sunrise. This center filler seat is standard, uh, but you can get filler seats to make this whole area bed. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the fuel tank. This boat does have external fuel tanks, but they are stored down here underneath uh, this, this aft port side seat. Uh, we uh, will always bring it in with the 12 gallon with an additional six gallon, giving you a total of 18 gallons. And uh, makes it sort of nice because now you have essentially a backup fuel tank when you're out there in the water and a lot there in the backup. Storage on this boat, this is the only storage that's used up. Underneath every other seat in this boat is storage. Uh, this right here being your biggest storage unit. It actually goes from here all the way to here. Uh, so this is a great place to put your uh, big umbrellas, beach chair, stuff like that. You can put coolers there. A lot of folks will also put their cooler right here. Go ahead and put this seat above it. Step in here to the console. Uh, this boat was designed to be an easy to use, easy to maintain, simple style boat. Uh, so our uh, gauge right here, all it's got is miles per hour and uh, volts. That's about all you need out there in the water, knowing that your uh, fuel tank gauges are right there underneath your fuel tank. Sitting here, uh, easily can reach the helm and uh, our throttle and steering. Now, if you are a taller person, we can go ahead and remove this seat. Now we got plenty of leg room and good visibility. Uh, can talk and socialize with everybody here at the helm as the captain. Uh, two co-captain's chairs there too as well. Again, a great socializing boat uh, is a big idea behind this boat. 
and up here on top we're going to see a nice big bimini top gives you plenty of coverage but the bow is still open uh, for sunning and, and stuff like that and this bow on this 18 foot boat is huge i'm just under six feet uh, but i can easily stretch out and still have another person or two up there and again talked about a ton of storage storage underneath all these seats typically right here is where your anchor is going to go and a second anchor if you want it's big enough and deep enough down there just to recap uh, the element e18 is, is just a good boat at a good price seats a lot of people and uh, really easy to use easy to maintain uh, plenty of seating and, and a simple boat. Um, not much to go wrong, um, but enough stuff on it that you can go out and have fun um, with you and eight other friends there with the seating of nine. Uh, Logan here with Duncan's Boats. Thanks for watching, guys, and have fun out in the water.